Um, so now I'd like to bring out Sanaya, Melanie, Natasha, and Tia. So these girls, man, how old were you when we first started? Well, first of all, they were shorter than me. We were like 10. 10? 10? 10 years young. And now um, they're all in different colleges and universities. And I'll never forget how full my heart felt. Because usually after high school, I just don't see the students again, right? So I was like, man, I'm not going to see these girls either. But then the summer after, they all texted me. And they're like, Ms. Alma, can we do some privates with you? And this is your third year in college. So every year they've been doing it. And you have no idea how cool I feel that you still want to hang out with me. <laughs> you have no idea. So thank you so much. I love you guys. Um, okay, it's time to introduce yourselves. I'm Ms. Basha. I'm Melanie. Woo! I'm Sanaya. And I'm Tia. Woo! Um, so all the dance has been like a huge part of our lives, as you know. Um, I started doing all the when I was 10. And we just wanted to explain like some of the ways that she's inspired us. Um, so I'm starting off by saying that like if without Amna, I wouldn't be who I am today. Um, I feel like like the environment that she's created over the years has allowed me to break through my own individual barriers, like like getting more self confidence and self growth, and just being more outgoing. Um, and she gave me the chance to express my inner emotions and by channeling each thought into a movement. So I'm lucky enough to have someone like Ms. Alma, who I can go to whenever I'm feeling stressed or just down, and I am forever grateful for her. Um, I just learned that instead of hiding my feelings, I should always honor my authentic self. I've been dancing with Miss Anna for the last 10 years. I remember being so nervous for like my very first dance class. I was just like, I was so clouded with doubt and I questioned whether dance was even like truly for me. Yet within the studio, under the guidance of Miss Anna and the encouragement of my fellow dancers, I was filled with joy and knew that this was just the beginning of something great. <laughs> Throughout the years, Ms. Ono's bright presence and the dancer's uplifting energy have forged a bond that extends far beyond the studio walls. They have become my second family. From their unwavering support to the magic that unfolds within each class, these people have become an anchor, a safe place where my passion for dance continues to flourish. On the dance is a place that brings people from different backgrounds together and creates an environment where individuals can share their creativity collaborate, support one another, and forge lifelong friendships. Um, so I have been with Amna for, I'd say, eight years. I started Amna and I was really quiet, I was really shy, I was in seventh grade, and I struggled to express myself. And with Miss Amna's support, I was given space to um, express myself through dance. And now I'm going to be a strong, independent woman, and I give that all to her. Um, she helped us discover what makes me unique, helps me embrace that through dance, and I can proudly say that Ms. Amna is the reason for my boost in self-confidence and self-love. She gave me the space to unlock my true inner self and encouraged me to step out of my comfort zone. And if I hadn't never taken that step, I don't think I would have ever met my best friends that I have today. Um, and Ms. Amna has empowered us to treat people with compassion and share our love for dance with others, and that's something I'll never let go. because my little sister joined her company when I was in about seventh grade. So then I came to one of the shows and I walked in, I saw their class and I realized like, okay, I have to do it, I want to do it. And I hadn't done dance for a while. And that night I like told my mom, okay, fine, like I want to join too. And then when I did finally join, I joined a family, one that was built with our shared love for dance. And it was a sisterhood that's grown stronger and brighter just like we have together. And this that was then, and this is now, seven years later. We still continue dancing, we travel together, we laugh together, and we've experienced life together as a team, and I got that team from Miss Omna. Yeah. Yeah. 
And Ms. Alma is a vital part of that team. She created a nurturing environment, one that helped all of us grow, like I said, and we are all more confident now. And she taught us the importance of doing what we love, and she has given us nothing but love and support. And she taught us that it's important to give up to each other, so now we have unconditional love and support from one another. I'm just so lucky, yeah. And through her demonstrations, we carry that on. And now we are all so thankful for her, and I'm thankful to call these girls my best friends. So thank you, Asamna, for showing us how to love ourselves and how to love each other. We love you. These girls have volunteered to be here since 8 a.m. Since 8 a.m. They spent their Saturday with me. I am so grateful for you. I learned so much about you in these speeches, and I do want to say thank you to your parents and the village that you're around because you've raised incredible human beings. Thank you.